Hi, uh, welcome to another podcast. I'm just going to show you really some new hooks I've uh, got hold of, which are uh, TMC 101s. Um, they're very f small hooks, but they've got a, a nice a nice adaptation in terms of got a, an eye which is straight. Something I've been trying to get hold of for some time, especially on these small hooks where the eye pointing down tends to close at that gape there. I'm going to show you how to tie a very small, very simple CDC pattern, uh, which I have uh, success with. This is only a size 24 hook. Um, they do go up to a lot smaller um, in different, different types of uh, TMC. They do the world's smallest hook, uh, well, eyed hook, which is a 518 and that goes uh, down to a 32 uh, which uh, covers smuts and other things and it has a uh, times free gape which means again it's uh, a reasonable hooker if you will uh, pardon the phrase anyway I'm just going to try up something which is very simple very fast I particularly like to do this um, in terms of if you're doing your a lot of fishing, you want to spend your time on the water, you want effective flies, you want flies which will catch your fish and will answer problems on the water. I find this does this uh, remarkably well. I'm basically going to use just one CTC fly uh, feather for this particular fly. I'm going to strip a little bit of fluff off the butt and I want some of the longer bits just to go out the back as a tail trailing there just a few bits will help stabilize the fly I'm actually going to snip off the fluff from the top there we go just snip that work clean um, it always helps I'm going to put the bit I snipped off up that onto my thread and that's going to be wrapped in as a body. It doesn't matter if the body is a bit lumpy at this stage, it'll just help the hook float. Again I'm going to dub in a little bit more. The window, window CDC for this particular fly is that it's a, a fine material. This will allow you to tie very small flies and is remarkably durable for its size. Now, I have just stripped off a, a bunch of CDC, which I'm going to lay back over the point of the hook. I'm going to come, come down once. I'm going to bring my thread through the front and behind the back. And that's going to puff up a little wing there. I don't mind that the barbs of the CDC are going in both directions. I think that will help the fly float and uh, my experience it does. And where we have lots of advocates of CDC saying what a wonderful floating material it is, I must admit I rather carry 20 of these particular patterns. So when they're getting damp, my fingers are damp, it's cold, I can snip one off and put another one back on which is nice and dry you can use different uh, materials to actually try and dry them out um, a bit of cotton is usually quite good the size of my shirt is what I usually use but I have got uh, little pads which will do it as well and uh, I tend to use a, a fly floatant which is based, based as a powder rather than uh, a grease anyway I've just finished this I'm going to use this particular tool, um, it's a wood finishing tool which uh, is particularly popular in America and um, this is a TMC one as well. You basically wrap your thread round and the whip finisher, put that on the hook, pull it off and it guides it to where it needs to be guided to. Just do that again, on the hook eye, guide it down. Pull that back tight a bit. Former 
a VMI as the hook. And that's it. I'm going to trim just the fluff off the top, like so. Tied it up a little. And that little fly there will catch you an awful lot of trout. And there we have it. Little CDC size 24 fly.